Hello friends, let me show you how to configure Apache based EM server. Currently I'm using Red Hat 7. That this is my server. For configuring this, you need to have an Apache and create repo packages. Let me check whether it's installed here or not. Yeah, it's installed. So I have a DVD mounted here under slash DVD which contains the Red Hat 7. Let's check the content. Yeah. So for configuring Apache based EM server, we need to create a directory which is used to hold all the RPM files. Let's copy all the RPM packages. To slash m. This will take some time. Let's wait for yeah the copying is just finished so let's go to the directory and check yeah we have all the packages here now we need to create the metadata for all these rpm files for that we need to use the create repo command Whenever you add any packages to this directory, you need to run the create repo to update the metadata file. This would also take some time to create all the uh, metadata files. There are mainly three types or four types report md.xml, primary.xml.gz, and file list.xml.gz, and others.xml.gz. So once you run this command, this will create a report data directory under slash m. Let's wait for some time. The create report command just finished. Let's check the report data directory. Yeah, we have a report data directory. But for group install and group list command to work with m, we need to copy one more file here so go to dvd cd report data we have this file this file sorry this file we need to copy this file to slash m Go to cd slash m now run the create repo command again repo minus g g for the group give the file name and give the directory where you copied all the packages this will also take some time so whenever you add any packages to this directory here it is slash m so you need to run create repo dot and create repo minus g and this file name and location so that the new package information will get added to this metadata create repo minus g command is just finished let's do an ls minus dear command once again yeah just finish it's updated the repo that I came with the group place now now if you want to use the GPG check 
just to give the authentication to this particular tip board we need to copy the gpg key from the dvd go to dvd and this key copy to m this is used for the gpg check and gpg key so the repository configuration is finished now let's work on the apache side open the main apache configuration httpd.com httpd.com we need to tell apache that <coughs> we reach the am directory let's take out these five lines from apache this is to slash for access to the content so we need to take these directives this five directive let's copy that and go to end of this file and just paste it edit this file instead of war ww you need to make this as slash m and we don't need this line it's already hashed let's remove it so these four lines is required to give an access to this m directory and its contents now we need to create a configuration file so go to etc http conf.d slash report.conf add this content alias slash repo slash em this is our directory where we copied all the rpm packages save and exit now we need to check whether apache is started or not since this is red hat 7 we need to use systemctl command status httpd Currently Apache is dead. So let's start the Apache. Let's check the status once again. Currently Apache is running and it is enabled. If this is not enabled next reboot we need to manually start the apache you can use system ctl enable httpd for enabling the apache just in case this is showing as disabled let's check the sc linux portion here Currently, the SC Linux policy is enforcing. So, definitely, when the Apache is trying to access the content of VM, the SC Linux will deny the access. So, let's check the SC Linux context of VM, showing us default the type of is default underscore t if you are if your directory having default underscore t the sc linux will not allow the apache to access this content so we need to change this to this is the default directory where the document wrote for apache so we need to change this context to http underscore sys underscore contest underscore t so let's change it using change context chcon minus r recursively minus t and the type slash m 
this command will change that so let's check once again the m and its content now it's become HTTP sys content so yeah so now the apache can access this let's check the firewall in red hat 7 we don't have an ip tables instead we have a firewall d command firewall d service so let's check system ctl status firewall d service so currently firewall d is running so we need to allow the http port in the firewall so for that you need to run firewall cmd permanent minus minus zone public minus minus add dash port equal to 80 slash tcp this command will add a port 80 to firewall we need to firewall dash cmd dash dash reload this is the command. So this will reread the configuration. Let's check firewall dash cmd dash dash list slash all. Yeah, the HTTP is currently allowed in firewall. now let's check the apache configuration whether things are correct or not we have a utility called as links links http slash i'm using a local host since i am just running the command here repo repo is the alias name which we created for m in http uh, t slash conf dot d slash repo dot conf file so use repo data slash repo md dot xml this is the index file for repo data so let's see whether you'll be able to download yes it's able to download so the apache is functioning properly okay now for the client side go to slash etc m dot repos dot ds create a file under this directory say www.repo any name you can give but the extension should be dot repo www dash repo and the name to just given my name vanillam http okay base URL HTTP this is the location I'm just giving the IP address instead of localhost 168.1.6 slash repo and enabled to one this means this repo is enabled and I'm just giving the GPG check. This is an authentication for this repo. GPG check is one, and I'm just putting the GPG check GPG key equal to this key is used to authenticate this repo. HTTP 192.168.1.6 slash repo slash now I need to find let's check the name rpm okay this rpm stuff yeah this is a key file so we'll update this again in m dot repos dot d w repo yeah save it now to m clean all can see the www dash repo here 
yum repo test this command will show you the repo available in the server this is the repo name which i have given in the client configuration file now let's do a list yum list so this command will tell you what all components inside this repository and you have a group list the group of opms so this list has the groups available now let's try to install one package using the same i'm installing ftp so look at this it's taking the key from this location and giving an authentication to install it so this is currently installed now let's go to another server and try to use this repo for installation create the same file or you could copy also okay let's create it www.repo yeah we have one file already available yeah gpc check is disabled let's enable it using the key gpc key equals http the location where the key 192.168.1.6 slash repo slash how to get the key name it's pretty long it's not able to remember or else easy way just remove this existing file into an SCP 192.168.1.6 slash etc m dot just copy the post dot t www dot repo to slash etc em dot repos dot d location this is much faster yeah so d etc em dot repos dot d that you can find so you need to copy this file to all the servers in your network for using this repository to an m clean all yeah it's able to detect now let's install a package here same ftp package yeah now it's able to install it that's all about the m configuration thank you so much for watching